Howdy, this is Professor Scott Norman in the Automotive Lab at Pittsburgh State University and we have another diagnostic scenario for you. Today we are working on a 2010 Chrysler minivan and the customer is complaining that it is not blowing cold air. In fact, they're saying it's blowing hot air and it's summertime and it's warm outside. So we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up. We are going to uh, verify the customer's complaint. That's our first step in our diagnosis and we're gonna try to see what's going on. You can see on the controls that the um, air conditioning is on full code on both the drivers and the passenger side. Uh, the mode is on panel, AC is on, it is on recirculation, rear AC is off, the lower motor is on high, and we take a look at the thermometer, it's 160 degrees on the driver's side and a little bit about 40, maybe about 50 on the passenger side. So, summertime and it really sucks that the driver's side is always putting out heat. If I come over here and try to turn my controls and we'll see what happens there. So if I put my panel on heat and put my driver on heat, I can see my thermometer start going up pretty high on my passenger side. So I bet if you let this here for a little bit, it'll go all the way up to 162. Driver's side on full cold, and you can see the temperature is starting to go back down on the passenger side. The driver's side is staying at 160, which is again not fun driving around when it's hot outside. We have verified the customer's complaint. I first thought that there was no air conditioning whatsoever, but what, it, what I found out is that it's blowing cold air on the passenger side fine so driver's side is not blowing cold air so our next step in the process would be to determine related symptoms then we need to uh, determine how the system operates so we have to analyze the system and then we need to uh, isolate it down into a root cause failure and so what I want my students to do on this di diagnosis scenario is, 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 is let me know um, if there's any other related symptoms I need to look at. Number two, I need you to analyze the system, understand how it operates. And number three, I need you to tell me what we need to do to isolate this particular problem down to a repair. This is Scott Norman, and if you're looking for more YouTube videos on the automotive technology, you can follow my Professor Pintain uh, YouTube channel, or you could look for me on Facebook, just look for Professor Pintain. Thank you very much.